Good morning. During this month of May, we dedicate that to our Heavenly Mother, Mary. And in that light, today we will crown her as our Queen in Heaven. Good morning. Please join in singing our opening hymn, Companions on the Journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God goes humbly before his people, marching with them and living among them. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray.
O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Paphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga and Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch and Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them. My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Toward him and 
my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send, receives me. Whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The disciples in the synagogue were given a chance after the readings to say a few words. Guided by the Holy Spirit and prepared in heart and mind, they proclaimed the reality of salvation. They told the story of Israel and how that story culminated in Jesus, referring to John the Baptist, who prepared the way for Jesus. They didn't make a previous appointment. The synagogue didn't call them up on the phone and say, hey, can you guys speak this Saturday? You know, we'll give you a hundred bucks to say a few words. This wasn't something that was prearranged. No, they were given that opportunity and they were ready to speak. They were really ready to tell people about Jesus, how Jesus was the culmination, the fulfillment of the salvation that the Jewish people hoped for for so long, generation after generation, century after century, millennium even. even. The disciples were ready to tell the good news that Jesus was the salvation of the Jews and indeed the salvation of all the nations. We as faithful disciples, as friends of Jesus, are also called to be ready, to be ready to tell people about Jesus to tell the people that Jesus is their salvation, and indeed the salvation of all the world. When we were baptized, when the water was poured on our head in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
we became members of the body of Christ. And after we were baptized, the priest or the deacon put on our forehead the oil of chrism, the oil that the bishop bless, blesses every year, which is a symbol of Christ. And we were reminded as the priest does that, that, that Jesus had a special mission as priest, prophet, and king. And we are anointed with that oil after our baptism as a sign that we too share in Jesus' mission as priest, prophet, and king. And so as prophets, as sharing in Christ's prophetic mission, we are to tell the truth, to tell the truth about God and tell the truth about God's relationship to us. That's what the disciples did in the Acts of the Apostles today. They were telling the truth. They were being prophetic. They were telling the truth about God and about how God had led the Israelites to salvation and had used the Israelites and the Jewish people to bring the Savior of the world into the world, to bring Jesus into the world to be our salvation. That's the message that we as disciples, we as people who share in Jesus' prophetic mission, as people who tell the truth, that's what we must be prepared to do as well, to tell people about Jesus, about what he's done for the world, what he's done for us, what he's done for me, what he's done for you. What has Jesus done for you? Be ready to tell people that when given the opportunity. And don't be afraid because the Spirit will guide you. We don't, have to work, we don't have to depend on our own abilities and talents. We don't have to be the smartest person in the world or the most eloquent. What we have to do is be faithful and to trust in the Spirit and allow the Spirit into our hearts and minds in order to give us the courage and the wisdom and the words to tell people, to tell this person in front of me right now what God wants to tell them. We're not relying just on ourselves. We're relying on God and on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So if we open ourselves to tell the truth, tell the truth about God, tell the truth about Jesus, to tell the truth about the, their love and mercy for us and their desire for our salvation, and we allow the Holy Spirit to form our thoughts and form our words, then we'll be able to fulfill that baptismal role that we have, the role of being prophets, the role of sharing with people the reality that our salvation is at hand. Confident in God's love and mercy, we bring our needs before him. (coughs) 
for those who emulate Mary's example of humility to follow their vocational call of service to others and obedience to the will of God, especially Pope Francis, Bishop Baker, Father Deering, Father Tom, and Father Wyman. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the church reflected in Mary, the diocese, parishes, and Catholic schools may faithfully bring forth Jesus Christ in our world and be beacons of hope in the darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president and all government officials, that they will be guided by the same principles that guided our Heavenly Mother, love and compassion for all people at all stages of life as they make decisions to help our country during these challenging times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our teachers during this Teacher Appreciation Week, that they be fortified with the same love and strength that flowed from Mary as she served as Jesus' teacher. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers and grandmothers, that they follow the great example of our Heavenly Mother in caring for their own children. And for all children, that they follow the great example of Jesus, of always loving and appreciating their mothers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor, the persecuted and abandoned ones, that they be consoled by our mother's powerful protections and intercessions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent Mary to be the mother of your son. Send your spirit into our hearts to teach us how to pray. Hear us and fulfill our needs. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is Servant Song. <laughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And we eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Yes. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we restore, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we draw close to uh, summertime, I would encourage you to ask God for perseverance and uh, for wisdom and for courage uh, to get you through these last uh, couple few weeks of school. Uh, I know these are challenging times and challenging situations, uh, but our education still is of paramount importance, helping us to grow in knowledge and understanding so that we might be those faithful disciples that Jesus has called us to be. Uh, be assured of our prayers as you finish up this school year and as you enter into the summer um, and uh, know that we look forward to seeing you uh, before long. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join in singing our closing song, You Are My All in All. You are my strength when I am. 